Uh oh, ladies and gentlemen, I have a little bit of an update for you regarding some of the performances of our more recent shows. And this is, what do you see? This is top recent videos in the YouTube analytics. Everything is rated. Whenever you hear one out of 10, 10 out of 10, this is what people are talking about. And in the first 50 minutes, you can see that Reezer is obviously on top. Fantastic. Dan Dan also. Amazing. I am very hyped that a Shonen show that usually is something that my audience does not resonate with. It did well. First episode's always going to do well, but it did amazing, so I'm very happy about that. ReZero Farm, Dan Dan opening. Loner Life is resonating with their audience, which is classic. I, I think that, you know, an isekai like this, it's the episode two definitely was better, so it's nice to see that and more and more. And this is the problem right here. Number eight and nine. Listen. The Goodbye Dragon Life, it's just like a standard, just mediocre show. There's nothing special really about it. It's just, you know, fantasy show, snake waifu, haha. But how the fuck is that performing better in Blue Box, bro? I told you. What did I say in the Blue Box reaction? I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling about Blue La Box. Not only a sports genre is something that my audience doesn't give a fuck about, it's mixed in with rom-com. It's just, ugh. And... Here's the worst part. What did I just say? Dan 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 being second place here at 1,000 views in the first 58 minutes is nice, but a first episode will always be better. This is the trajectory of most shows, right? In the beginning of a season, there's some new viral shit happening and people just want to check it out. And then what happens after that is by episode like three, four, right? If we consider this like to be episode one, episode two, episode three, and then it kind of like tapers down, there's this baseline which gets established around like the third or the fourth episode when people realize, okay, I'm going to drop this show or some people settle for it. If we can't even get Blue Box going from the episode, it's already like down here. Sad. Let's see if I can bring up the analytics for Blue Box here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna bring this up. <laughs> People are unsubscribing off of Blue Box. And if you look at the typical period, well, we're gonna definitely have to let it cook for over a week. But this is what happens, man. You put up products, right? You create an audience around that dumb, stupid fucking power fantasies and isekais, and you give them a good anime like this, but they're like, I don't give a fuck about it. That's how it works. Listen, unsubbing, I don't give a fuck. All that matters is the monthly viewership and getting rid of tourists and other people that does not align with my content is a very good thing. But clearly, you can see the signals here, right? It's not good at all. We're going to have to let one week cook. This is only the first 58 minute performance, remember. This is not a definitive thing. It could pick up later on. And I would hope that Blue Box can, you know, retain the viewership required to watch it on a weekly basis. But at the end of the day, this is my audience's true taste. This is what you want. And if I'm making more content here where people don't give a fuck, then I'm wasting everyone's time. You as an individual may love Blue Box. And I think that Blue Box is an amazing anime. But here's the thing. It doesn't matter what an individual wants. It's what the greater audience wants. And most of them are just lurking. And Blue Box is just not an anime that resonates with me. Doesn't mean that Blue Box is a bad anime. It just means in the game of the YouTube algorithm, this is the way it is. And I will simply make content that you actually want to watch.